Now here's another complex trigonometric equation and at first look it doesn't seem that difficult since we simply have 8 tan thetas and, and subtracting 3 cos thetas to get 0 but then when we try and follow our steps we see that we run into a little bit of a problem we want a single trig ratio right like that we want a trig ratio equal to a constant which means we've got two trig ratios here we here we have to somehow add them together or do something to get them to be one and it's impossible tan and cos can't be added together they're different things okay then we know that there's a few steps before that that we're going to do we change all our angles into positive acute and simple they are positive acute and simple that's now these uh, whatever in, is inside there. The second step would be to change everything into cos and sine. Okay, let's see if we can do that. We do that uh, primarily by changing tan into sine over cos. So now we have 8 sine theta over cos theta minus 3 cos theta equal to 0. And now we notice okay here we have a little bit of a problem okay since we are working with a fraction and we don't want fractions in our equations they make things difficult so what we'll do is we'll multiply with the lowest common denominator so everywhere uh, every term is going to be multiplied with a cos theta okay all of my terms are being multiplied with cos theta here I go to find 8 sine theta minus here I've got two factors with cos n so cos squared theta is equal to zero times cos theta will still be zero and here we are getting a little bit closer but we see we can s we still have a problem sine and cos can't be added together however we can change cos squared into sine squared and that is what we are trying to do so here can happen a lot of different creative ways of trying to get to single trig ratio equal to a constant what I'm going to do is change cos squared into 1 minus sine squared theta so that I have 8 sine theta minus uh, I'm multiplying this 3 in there 3 plus 3 sine squared theta is equal to zero and now I can simply write it in the right format with first having my sine squared theta plus eight sine theta minus three is equal to zero and just what I'm trying to do now is to get sine equal to a constant in other words I'm trying to solve for sine theta so just so that I can make it a bit easier for myself let's make y equal to sine theta that just makes it look a little bit easier so now I have 3y squared plus 8y minus 3 is equal to 0 and I need to solve this by putting it into two brackets or using your quadratic formula okay and what must those two brackets be? Well, one must be a 3y and one must be a y. Okay, the other one must be either 3 times 1 or 1 times 3. Okay, and I must get 8. One of these two must be a negative, so it's either plus or minus plus or minus plus or minus plus or minus so I want to get 8 I'll have to subtract my two um, results so in other words if I multiply this I either have 3 times 3 or let's start 3 times 1 gives me 3 and 3 times 1 gives me 3 when I subtract that I would get 0 so that's not going to work okay so next up is we can try the second one okay 1 times um, 1 gives me there's a 1 here 1 times 1 gives me 1 3 times 
3 gives me 9. When I subtract that, I get 8. Cool. So I definitely this one has to be 3. Okay, so can I uh, erase that? Okay, this is going to be 3. And this one is going to be 1. Okay, so that one must be 3, this one must be 1. Which one should be negative? Well, I want positive 8, so it was, must be positive 9 and negative 1. There we go. Okay, I might have confused you with that. There's simpler ways of doing it. Probably the quadratic equation is even simpler than that. Um, I've, uh, I just tried to do it a bit quicker than the long method. So with that in mind, what do we have? We have 3 y's minus 1 is equal to 0, so y is equal to a third. Or we have y is um, plus 3 is equal to 0, which means y is equal to negative 3. Now what was y? y has been all the time just a placeholder for sine theta. So either sine theta is a third, or sine theta is equal to negative 3. This is ridiculous. That's nonsense. Okay, sine theta cannot be negative 3. That makes no sense. Okay, or simply no solution. So let's rather say that. No solution for that one. So we're only working with this solution. So to find this solution, we get our reference angle using our calculator. And that means we take a third, 1 over 3, get the inverse sine of that, gives me 19.47 degrees. So I get 19,47 degrees, which means my two solutions are now as follows. Either theta is equal to my reference angle, which is 19.47 plus 360 times k. Okay. Or theta is 180 minus the reference angle. 180 minus the reference angle would give me 160.53 plus 360 times k. Okay, and where for both of these, k is an element of integers. And there are my two solutions. Could have been more if sine of theta on this side wasn't greater than 1. Remember, um, sine theta cannot be greater than 1 or smaller than negative 1. Okay, that's why this one had no solution. I can't remember if I explained that. Okay, but I've said it now, and I think I'm done. Cool. See you in the next video.